Excuse me, little dog. Hi, oh, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous spring night in the middle of summer here on a, it is a Tuesday night, July 2nd, 2024, and I need to go uh, catch the lightning bug show that I see beginning out the window, uh, and I cannot believe I'm missing a lightning bug show to be sitting here talking about this doom and gloom. But you know, I, guys, I hate to beat uh, on one level the Jessica Wildfire dead horse, but I finally have a real doomer uh, stepping up to the plate, summing up Jessica Wildfire in one paragraph. So if Michael Campy is once the real doomer to stand up. It ain't you, Michael Campy. You're an irritating little gnat of doom. It ain't you, Jessica Wildfire. Uh, you're a, I don't know what you are, but you ain't a goddamn doomer. Okay, doomer? You ain't a doomer. Uh, but here is the real kahuna the real jefe. We are talking about Andy the Gardener from Zombie Island. Uh, Andy the Gardener from Zombie Island, uh, who might actually agree with Michael Campy on uh, his opinion of humans, you, you, you know. Uh, but of course, uh, Andy the Gardener has never heard of Michael Campy. And, uh, and and I don't think he had ever heard of Jessica Wildfire till yesterday. <clears throat> but this is Andy the Gardener's uh, review of the extensive body of work <clears throat> of Jessica Wildfire, the former queen of the Doomosphere. <clears throat> Take it away, Andy the Gardener, and tell us what a real Doomer thinks about Jessica Wildfire and anyone who pretty much agrees with her. <clears throat> I had a quick perusal, a quick perusal of the writings of Jessica Wildfire. I got a bit bored, to be honest. Too girly and irrational for my taste. Presumably, as a doomer, she understands that life on Earth is in jeopardy. A situation of somewhat grave, epical importance, to say the least. So why is she so obsessed with a side issue triviality like COVID? and with human welfare in general, other than a very welcome sign of the collapse of civilization. There is no consistency with the extinction rebellion kind of commentator. If humans are destroying the world, Surely, human welfare is only important in the sense it goes away as soon as possible as a matter of urgency for the sake of, you know, life on fucking Earth. Cold, hard logic clearly is not the strongest aspect of this type of person's intellect. What this type of doomer, doomer light, if we can call them that, don't like about you, Sam, is that you are not afraid to name the culprit directly. 
they like to tippy-toe around the issue in case they offend anybody too much. They don't get it. Humans do not deserve not to be offended. They deserve to be fully informed, as I like to put it. And no, they ain't getting out of this alive either. <laughs> you know, I have to admit, I, 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 uh, I have been jealous of Andy the Gardener's way of summing up in, in uh, two minutes what I bumble through, uh, you know, taking, uh, taking an hour uh, to say what Andy the Gardener, uh, he spends five minutes uh, looking at this pablum, uh, Jessica Wildfire, and all the rest of her doomer like ilk talking about a fucking corona panic. Uh, good God, is the, is the death of the, of the goddamn planet. Uh, anyway, thank you, uh, thank you, uh, Andy the Gardener for reminding me and the little whiny mosquito of doom, Michael Campy, who the real doomer is. And it ain't me. I'm, I'm passing the crown uh, to the real king of the doomosphere, Andy the Gardener. Keep the cards and letters coming, Andy. We love you, brother. Anyway, I've got to come back with what I really was going to ran about before I found that uh, wonderful comment from Andy. We're going to come back and talk about whiny, spoiled brat Americans. One of my favorite subjects, whiny, spoiled brat Americans, coming up in one minute. But I see the lightning bugs starting to blink. Where I should be is watching my damn lightning bugs. <laughs>